Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you how to install Android 10 TV on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now bear in mind this is still a beta release, so there's still some issues with sound over HDMI, and currently the Google Play Store is not working. But you can work around this by sideloading apps by using Aptoid and Fdroid which is already installed. So apart from the issues I mentioned, everything else seems to work pretty well. So without further ado, let's get on with this. So the first thing we're going to do is head on over to the Lemmycrest website. Now all links are in the description guys. And we just need to make our way down to the download section. And select the compilation link. The download should begin automatically. Now once you've downloaded it, you need to extract it using a zip utility. Now if you're using Windows, you can use something like WinZip. Now as I'm using a Mac, I'm using the built-in utility. Now once that's complete, you should get an image file. Now you need to transfer this image onto an SD card. Now this is done using software. I'm going to be using the Raspberry Pi Imager. Select Choose OS and then scroll down to Use Custom. Now navigate your way down to where you unzip the image file and select it. Next we need to click on the Choose SD Card button and here we need to make sure we select the correct SD card we want the image transferred to. Now once it's done writing, it will start verifying the image on the card. So just be patient here. Once it's complete, you'll get the following message. Now to complete the setup, we need to edit some files on the SD card. And the file we're looking for is config.txt. So just open it up using a text editor. Now to get the display set up correctly and working, we need to paste a few lines here. So I'm going to copy and paste them across from my document here. Now secondly, I'm going to overclock my CPU and GPU. So I'm going to paste across these lines here. So my CPU will be overclocked to 2000 MHz and my GPU to 650 MHz. And to achieve this, we need to up the voltage to 6 volts. Okay, we can now save and close this file. We can now remove the SD card from our PC and put it into our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so give it a moment to boot up. And there it is guys, we have Android TV on the Raspberry Pi 4. Now taking a quick look around, we can see we have a Google Play Store. And we've got Mix Explorer, which is like a file manager. We've also got a YouTube Vanced. Now this doesn't seem to really work very well. If you click on a video, it just gets stuck loading. But like I mentioned earlier, you can sideload the YouTube app via Aptoid. Now Firefox works very well. Web browsing is fluid and smooth. Although videos don't seem to play on the web pages. Hopefully this can be fixed in an update. Now you are able to download games from the Fdroid application. And I got hold of Pixel Wheels. Which was surprisingly quite an addictive little game. Now as you can see we also get some pre-installed emulators including RetroArch, PPSP and GBA Lite. Now taking a quick look at Fdroid we can see it's fairly straightforward. It's set up like your standard app store with categories and you just find and select and download what you need. Now let's take a quick look at PPSP, the PlayStation Portable emulator. Now as you can see it is the full running version of PPSP which we can even download and play some of the homebrew games of which my favourite is Chucky Egg. And of course we've also got RetroArch, GBA Lite and Kodi. Now like I mentioned earlier, Google Play is currently not working. So it's best to do a Google search for Aptoid or something similar in the internet browser. And then download and install and you should have access to all the apps you need. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.